no ball from Bollinger as that flies through to Payne behind the stumps. Nervy times for the batsman, Ramiz, or will the Pakistanis have felt that uh, they're going to win this game from very early on on the first day? Off the mark with a lovely extra cover drive. This will be four, and this will hearten all of Pakistan. Imran Farah gets the innings going. Way down to third man, the vacant third man area. Got a oh, dog down. Watson has put it down at first slip. It came quickly to him, high to his right, but it should have been taken. Another extra cover drive of pure excellence. Majestic. Gone now. It's a really good ball from Hilfen House, and but the captain has gone. Michael Clark takes a, a comfortable catch there at slip. That's the breakthrough that Australia wanted. It's down to third man for four. Up and over. No man in the third man region. That pad's been a bit of a luxury for Australia. Well, the runs continue to flow. This uh, inconsistency from Mitchell Johnson is... Uh, that's found the gap rather nicely. It seems to be the trend, I'm afraid, for, for Mitchell Johnson. He's... Oh, it was well bowled. And there's a bit of bounce. Oh dear. Oh dear. And he managed to bat for 33 overs and one ball. 88 all out. Well, this will be uh, four more towards the target for Pakistan. Then uh, there was shift in bowling just to challenge him through leg spin, through left arm, fast. And every time he's been on top of the act. Beautifully done through the offside. He has really played well through that area of cover and cover point. Magnificent strike. Goes for the cut shot, finds the gap, gets a four, gets to his 50 as well. Tremendous batting under pressure. Pakistan needed a solid start and a contribution from the rope. Now, well, he's provided Pakistan exactly with that. Very good innings under pressure. No big celebration from him either, Rami. He shows you his intent. He's concentrating on these. Um, shot. Great shot. That's going to race away for four. Pakistan getting closer and closer. Only 62 required now for victory. Oh, he's strong there. Every shot now greeted with a huge roar from the Pakistan contingent in the crowd. Bolding, got it through. Good Yorker from Bollinger. Really good. Well, he's deserved that because he has uh, tried. and gone, so two wickets fall in quick succession. Umar Amin couldn't get his bat out of the way, it's a regulation catch for Tim Payne. Straight to the comfortable hands of Tim Payne behind the stumps and Australia get their third wicket. I'm sure Umar Akmal, their big player, comes in now. Sure there's a few nerves in the Pakistan dressing room now at the moment, it was still 43 to get. Poor delivery from Bollinger, and that'll be a boundary. And that's his first uh, Test 50. He and Pakistan will be hoping it's the first of many. And leading towards three figures as well at times.
Well, he's gone this time. What a good comeback by uh, Doug Bollinger after that appalling uh, full toss. He bowls a real beauty, and Azar Ali's on his way. Is there another twist in the tail? Pakistan needs 34 still. You never can tell. But this is a good start by Australia. They needed to take an early wicket. Yes, six runs have been scored, but they wouldn't mind getting a wicket every six runs. Doug Bollinger strikes again. Hasn't been having a happy time of it, but of late, things have gone his way. Good knock, though, by Azar Ali. It's 146 for four. Oh, past the second slip. Streaky, but it's a boundary for Pakistan. They now need just 30. Well, this time Australia celebrate and Umar Akmal goes. Oh, those uh, knees will be really wobbling in the Pakistan dressing room now. Two down this morning. 150 for five. Well, Umar Akmal has played exactly the way Ricky Ponted wanted him to play. He has not played his natural game. He has gone out there looking just to block each delivery. Not too sure where he expected the runs to come from. Perhaps he thought he would get a few full tosses. That's not his natural game. But That's away through straight mid-wicket. Shoaib Malik off the mark. Take it! And they're back for three. No, it's pitched outside leg. Lost rhythm, momentum, and Australia on top. Edge and, well, it's gone past the second slip. Michael Clark with a full flesh dive. How close was he to the ball? Oh, they go a little bit harder and suddenly the edge comes. He'll pick a wick. A couple of runs there. Good flick shot from Shred Malik. Bollinger with a dive. A little untidy. I'm sure that question will be asked. And taken a shot cover. Shred Malik has played one straight down the throat of the fielder. It's Marcus North who has picked up another wicket. And Australia now into the tail. Dressing room looks a little gloomy. Shreb Malik is gone. What a catch. What a catch from Marcus North. Think back to last year at Headingley, he took one at third slip. What a catch. This is he's absolutely creamed that show, Malik. And what a catch. Great technique. Let the ball come, went with it. And it just stuck. Super catch. Show of Malik could not believe it. Is there another twist? That's beautifully done through the offside. Four runs. Precious boundary being struck here. Only 15 required now. He'll get runs. Four of them. A slice. Did the job. So 10 more required now. Kamran Akmal is leading them home. Goes for the drive. Finds the gap may get to the boundary it does beautifully crafted back foot shot from Kamran Akmal he is looking good under pressure now 174 for six and brilliantly held Kamran Akmal feels that the ball has touched the ground it's Michael Hussey who is confirming to the umpire that it's a clean take first angle cut shot And I think it kisses the ground, does it? It's all round. And this time, it is held. Wicket falls, Michael Hussey with a breathtaking catch. Kamran Akmal has to leave. This is unbelievable stuff. What's going to happen? That's it. Win for Pakistan. They richly deserve this. The fans can relax, the team can relax. It was a hard-fought struggle for them, but in the end, what a feeling. Winning against Australia after being at the receiving end for almost five years.
In fact, they last beat Australia in 1995. Yeah, congratulations to Pakistan. It's their first test win over Australia since 1995. It's been a long time, 15 years. They've deserved it the way they've bowled in this series. They really have bowled.